Hi everybody and today I am back with a little of this arena on the chessboard. Let's have lots of fun, some content and let's go. Alright. How is everyone some... doing? What's up everybody? Happy Saturday. Hello Karma, thank you. Then it's Dr. Chess 3-3-3 Wait, so we get pretty much this Catalan? Ah, this line I thought he takes and it's like what usually I sometimes get with white Get with reverse colors, but he goes for this, okay. But he takes D takes C now. Pretty sure. Though knight D4, huh? Okay, he took. Let's take. Rook C8. I'll just take and get simple position and let's see things for he sort already for quite a while. I'll just gonna put pressure with time I think. How are you doing Karma by the way? What's up? Hi Rostam Chess, how are you doing everybody today? Hope you're doing perfectly. Um I want to take with the bishop, but now I can't because it's pinned. I don't think it really hurts, to be honest, though. <laughs> okay. I think this is fine. I find things that is nice. What about you, awesome chess? What are you doing? Ninety-six. Yes, I have to take B takes C. Okay, but now I get Queen B six. I'm pretty sure. Like maybe C five or at least Rook F D protecting the bishop. So I think I should be okay. Well, things that is nice. Can I sponsor you, Blutes? GGs. Congratulations. That is very huge. 21 king of the hill. Oh, I also have exactly 2200. Oh, nice. But congrats, that's huge. Good job. Okay, let's just simplify as much as I can. I can't lose this position. Thanks, Ayo. Hey, welcome. It's huge. Queen e5. Oh, by the way, I think on Monday, hey, you managed to some doing good work about you. On Monday, planning to do funny chess. So, guys, get ready for your. Uh, prepare your crazy, goofy positions, okay? Uh, it's gonna be fun. Here. I'm not sure how I'm gonna win this, to be honest. Interesting move. <coughs> And to create a spicy position, yeah, yeah, yeah. During the win, I hope I play. Okay, yeah, we'll see. It would be nice to play Rostam. As this guy is very quick. Hold on, didn't he blunder? Ooh. 
Covid gehen nicht schon. Queen e7, Queen d3, g6, Queen f1, Queen c2. Both hang now. Um, okay, g4, nice move. Now what if I check him? Then take, take a four with check and take h5. Yeah, he goes here, queen c2. I don't check. Uh, check. Queen d5 with check, then push the pawn. No, but that is GG's. That's, this, this should be over quite soon. Check, check, check. Check, push, and game over. As I'm Dr. Chess 3 c 3 Thanks, Magnus first. Look the place and look around. Yeah, that's nice. Then the Gupal. Ah, I don't know. I'm again like so desperate to play something goofy. Okay, 4 2 1, not too bad. Yeah, maybe I could have taken somewhere better in e5 d4, makes sense. Then I was worse here at bishop 6 as a pawn was singing and I played very well. Ah, he takes. I, I, I hoped you'd play here and then I would go g4. Okay. Ah, okay, let's go knight g. Cloud is goofy, but not today, not now at least. <coughs> oh no, my pawn! Oh my goodness, I'm so lucky. Oh no, my pawn again! Wow, guys, I'm so lucky that he doesn't seem without my pawn hangs. Wow. Whew. Unbelievable! I'm so lucky. <laughs> Beef. Now let's play a3. So that one's other rating. But maybe, you know, maybe it would fall, maybe. Because people fall for blunders. Even Magnus did against Aronian blundered making three. So you know people blunder. Uh, but unfortunately he didn't. <coughs> I bet you I hate this. It's like so annoying to play. In these steps of position and I keep going for them. It's like in classical, sure, I'm fine, but now in Blitz, it's just gonna be... Oh no, yes, b4 and queen d4, very nice idea. Not queen d5, queen d4. And now queen d4 will be an idea. Wow. So Magnus Blunder, very strange. Yeah, he, it happens. I think he said he calculated some deep line, and he just missed knight c3. It happens in chess. No, but that doesn't work, does it? Takes. Takes. Eh? Here, bishop b4, ruby one, I take and then take. Yeah, he wondered. Um, now I go just, I just go bishop a6, now rook b4 is an even a stretch, rook a4. Oof, I don't know. Anything works pretty much. I don't know, bishop e2, let's say. Doesn't have rook c4. If rook a2, bishop d3. Yeah. <laughs> cool. And then Gupal. Yeah, he miscalculated. No, but okay, I played terribly. I played quite badly. Uh, wait, bishop c4 is an interesting idea, so I can have with a queen and with a pawn, right? Okay, I played one in one. Not bad though. Yeah, he was plus three. Maybe he mouse slipped and went to play queen b3. I don't know. 
Is it in India or is it in Dubai? Hi, Mr. Programmer. I said it's in Dubai, isn't it? But I'm not sure. Maybe I'm wrong. I'm like 99% sure it's in Dubai. The short zebra call. Yeah. Wow, I'm playing it's ultra searching. This guy's 2700. Yeah, no problem. It's fine. It's in Dubai, yeah. It's cool. I'm, I mean, it's cool, but this uh, four, four points for a win with black is the only thing I'm like somewhat questionable. Sure, it's cool. It adds some more like spiciness, right? But it's very, very unusual. I'm not sure if I'm a fan. The Global Chess League, Mr. Programmer. No, but today was a crazy day, right? Gang Ganges Grandmasters uh, were like first the whole tournament with Alpha uh, SG, right? And then today they both didn't get top two because they both lost today. It was ridiculous turnaround. It's like absolutely crazy to watch. It's absolutely crazy. Okay. Huh. Another two teams which were like class for whole tournament, they got into top two. It was a very epic comeback from those two teams. Yeah, okay. I think the final is tomorrow, or am I wrong? I'm pretty sure it's tomorrow. Of course I can be wrong. It's a team tournament. Pretty much like the best play there. Magnus, Anand, Duda, Aronian, everyone. Mamed Yarov. It was a heartbreak for Titans. Wait, we'll be steamed till the last moment. That's true. I'm free tomorrow. That's nice, Magnus person. Uh, back to the game. 97, I don't know. I don't want to give you a pawn. But I was crazy, Mamed Yarov was winning, and if he wins and he has a teammate's draw, they make it through by like one point. But Mamed Yarov uh, threw a completely win position, and they didn't, and then the other teammates of him lost as well, and they didn't go to the final, so it was crazy. Yeah, the promotion was lagging a lot. Because, yeah, I also saw, the, like, where, where will it be streamed and all that stuff. Nobody knew. Maybe Queen of Six was actually an option. To attack a knight and idea to take the pawn. But it's a very interesting idea. Very creative with the four points for win with black pieces, it's like a very unusual. I think I didn't watch like first few days, but then I don't know, I get like super excited about it. And I watched all the other days. Maybe not like completely, but like mostly at least the results and quickly check the games. It's like first days, I don't know. I wasn't too interested. Then I like read more about it and then I was watching it fully. Windy five. Prague was playing brilliantly there. He scored like eight and a half out of ten or something, right? He's he scored some crazy scores. Prague I'm pretty sure was the MVP of SG. This F for work. Oh, wait, his idea is C6, so it doesn't. He gets this, it's like goofy sacrifice. 
sure if I'll have perpetual or I won't. A hard check, but check. 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 There's a Mutra 13. It was a fine game, I think. Maybe not too good, but it was fine. Who? Cool. Prague. It's probably aiming for MVP. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, probably. I'm pretty sure he did. Because, like, yeah, it, it's, it was, like, really unfortunate when Magnus blundered yesterday. If he wouldn't, if he wouldn't lose, then his team would win. And they would uh, qualify for the finals. But, oh gosh, I was lost. At queen d5. So bishop three, but okay. And then it was fine. Then it was chest three, was. Let's go e4. I have black check. Bashan, what do you mean? <laughs> you again. Huh? Knight three. We'll play. No, I won't. It ends like at 12 p.m. It's very late. And like, as I very loud, usually. Wait, isn't this a blunder? As I'm very loud, usually when playing, the neighbors are not too happy about it, so it's too late. If it would be one hour earlier, then I would play it, but it's, it's just a little too late. No, it wasn't the last day. It was last day of qualification. But I'm pretty sure that tomorrow. Is Bullet Brawl? Bullet Brawl isn't on first. Wait, isn't Bullet Brawl on the last Saturday of the month? Not the first Saturday, I'm not sure. Uh, no, today was the qualification it ended, but tomorrow will be grand final. First two teams from the qualification qualified for it. It takes. If Rook 8, F Queen 8. And rook 8, 97, 96. If this I take, he takes. No, but he blundered. And I sacrificed the queen. 95, 5, ED, his queen hangs, anyways. Nice. 97 was an option as well. Almost an infirmary chest, three of us. G5, G6, Queen, G4, no. Playing stop G8, 23. I played nil, nil, nil. Ah, cool. Yeah, of course, maybe I wasn't slightly better. It's definitely a weird sideline. Um, Queen, G, very nice. Let's go. My neighbors never complain about chess. No, but not about chess, about loudness, you know? Knight f6. Oh no, wait, it was this. Um, it's just way too late. Because if it's like bullet when it's from. from. when? From, from 9 to 11, it's fine. Uh, but. but yeah, it's too late. Uh, ship C6. Now, but I have bishop E7. I think I should have a knight G5. The C3. I'll take. On down is fine for me. Plus I have a good bishop, so I'm, I'm, I'm fine with that. And queen d2. Now then I'll take and c takes d. Here. Oh no, my 
a pawn. Okay, c5. Okay. Gets f4. Here. Gets a b4, but whatever. Yeah, rook d1 here. It's fine. You say draw play g6. Preventing a five g4. Wow. F6. F4. Rook e8. I don't know. Putting pressure on this. Inducer. B7. Huh. What if I just. Yeah, it gets f5. Queen b6, though, hold on. If he takes, I think if he moves, I go like e8. He gets queen e4 still. But then I can even take a rook f6, king h8, or rook e7, king h8. Yes, if G takes queen G six. Probably save. Can you cheat? Quite scary. Take, take, take a look of two. Queen e6, queen d8, rook f8. Wow. So basically, if I take, he takes, I take, he goes rook f2. He stretches queen d8, queen f8. And if I go queen e6, queen d8, rook e8, it's rook f8. And takes, ah, well, yeah, I mean, say perpetual there. So, and I don't want to draw. I'll try to play, no matter, I'll try to play for a win, no matter what. I'll take the risks. No, by blitz I didn't do too well. I don't think it's going on today though. The bullet roll. Oops, nobody the blunders. I'm just queen eight, so queen d6. Oh god, what did you do? Okay. Two. Oh, no, G20. Take 20 stream. That's a crazy game. <laughs> it was extremely fast, but. Whew. Yeah, it was bullet. In Blitz, it's like extremely hard to get anywhere. GG, thank you. Because most people just berserk, you know? And then, like, if you don't berserk, you pretty much can get. Hey, Brilliant Adam, what's up? And if you don't berserk, it's like impossible to get anywhere well. Like top 35, I think, is the best I've gotten. Thanks for the follow Mars flying insect. Planes reverse flash. Let's go C4. How are you doing, brilliant Adam? Hi, Darko.
But they change the Zerg. Right. But fun fact is like people who are in the top Zerg, but my opponents never Zerg. That is funny. <laughs> It's, it's just funny, like, like 10 people zerk against me, others don't zerk, and then pretty much, yeah, I can get anywhere, I can get quick games and all that stuff, it's funny. Yeah, hey, uh, brilliant Adam, how are you doing? Let's go B4. Yo, Pookie, what's up? Uh, I missed your message, sorry, completely missed it. How are you doing? I'm doing great, what about you? Hi Larion, what's up everyone? It's gonna take C4, yep he does. Putting pressure on B6, B6. Bishop C4, oh wait, it's a great move. <laughs> I'll take. It's weak and feeling good, yeah. That is very nice. You don't have disco for ages, sure, I do. <laughs> nice. Yeah, these are some nice emojis, by the way. Is this from Duck Chess? Is this the duck from Duck Chess book? You know. No, it's probably not, but maybe. It's a mysterious duck. Yeah, I'll go here in the end game, try to win the end game now. Nah. Oh well. But who knows? Yeah, 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 exactly. Maybe it is. Darko, that's pretty much with your emojis, it's every player trying to calculate uh, when, when, oh gosh, what is this move? Uh, when they, they think they are open and blundered, they're like making sure if everything is correct and uh, they didn't just blunder, you know? That's, that's how every chess player calculates. <laughs> rook c1, bishop f2 isn't, doesn't work because I protect the rook. Yeah, yeah, so we should be two, I guess. Wait, this hangs, but let's go with A4 then. Or, or when you're about to sack your queen and you're making sure that you do, you sacrifice it for profit and not actually blundering your queen for no reason, you know? Uh, Oi. Yeah, and I'm also on Discord as well, brilliant Adam. Me, Karma, my Spurs, everyone's there. Pretty sure Pookies as well. So pretty much everyone. I did my new mic, okay. It's a wrong angle, uh, angle corner. Yeah, all of us are basically in Discord, yeah.
Yeah, I didn't play too well this game. But my opponent played extremely well and deserves that win. Very much. Okay, he played so perfectly, and then he just messed up the end game. Wow, what a swindle. Karma, does this deserve a swindle, Master? Normally in Slippid FMS. <laughs> nice draw. Yeah, I was hoping for still meet as well. That was like the only hope. And it worked. Oh, goodness me. Karma, do the green juries agree? And it was a jury. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, I was winning. I wasn't too sure. It should have been better. Yeah, he didn't play the opening too well. Um, but yeah, swindle, swindle. It's always nice. Change. Thank you. No, but okay, sure, I'll simplify. I'll simplify very much. I'll simplify everything I can. Here. Yeah, I'm not too sure about that. Maybe d4 wasn't too good. Because he gets this c4. Maybe I shouldn't rook c5 d4. Okay, still. An exchange is an exchange, let's be honest. Let's go f6. Okay, now we go rook d8. I'm not sure about rook d2, to be honest. And like rook f5, g5. Skinny e Ah! Oh, my rook is stuck. <laughs> my rookie stuck funnily enough. If it's even funny. Um D3 A4 whoa. Sure about A4, don't I wait. G5, GF rook D4. Yeah, he blundered G5 GF. Yeah, now my rook is free even more. Then I take I get rook D4 and then F4 hangs. By both the rooks and it's just winning. Um, I'm gonna take c5. Why not? I'm gonna actually take c5 twice. Take, take. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna take c5 twice. If this I get rook d5, king f6, I'm winning. This, on the other hand, I think I get rook d5, bishop d3, king f6, rook d3, I just take king f6. Yeah, then king of six. H4, and I just push, I suck the pawn for the bishop, and it's game over. Okay, that was quite a decent one. Let's see, I'm a little bit of MS. GG. Yeah, that was decent. That was definitely quite better than this one. Yeah, I felt like I got a very good advantage, but. I struggled to find it and realize it. And knight a4. Oh, and then I just win a piece, right? The bishop couldn't move anywhere. Look at that. If bishop b5, I got this and that. If bishop moves d6, I just take take rook a7. That's very cool. GG, thank you. Um, I threw for a second. Yeah, I somehow messed up with the skin of 7. My rook got stuck. By side from that, I played well. Then it's Abderahim 2. This guy is currently the first place, so let's... Let's play safe. Maybe I'll go see. Well, I don't care. Whenever he goes, I pre move C4.
What? Did you forget to include takes? Why did he just sack or did he sack a pony? Is this new scene? No, I think he blundered, no? Urus Castle. Did he forget to include taking? What has just happened? So confused. 85? I don't know. Huh, I'm not sure what happened, but it's definitely confusing. Just thinking, did he have like something planned? Or was it just like a brain lag or whatever? Or you just forget to make a move? Queen h5? Hold on. What is this guy doing? Mm -hmm. I think I win another pawn. I'm pretty sure this guy just blundered. Mm, okay, queen e5. Yeah, this, I think it just was a blunder. Yeah, takes, 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 and then I just go f4. This pawn isn't a weakness. If g5, I always get g3. Yeah, sure. Sure, sure, never take it easy uh, to win it. But I think something like rook d1, rook d2 should be good. A bishop c4, I go rook d1. And if he gets bishop b3, I get bishop c4. And if he moves, okay, that's why he moved the king. Ah, uh, tricky. Very tricky. Um, wait a sec. Bishop c4. Like then I guess I hmm. Because Ruby 1 bishop c4, Ruby 7 king h6, and then he wins in exchange. I mean I'm still probably fine there, but um yeah. King of 2 gets bishop c4 anyways. Rook d1 bishop b3, rook b1, bishop d3, rook b7, king h6, e hold on, I just gotta think real quick. Uh, oh wait. King f2, bishop c4, rook d1, this bishop c2. If he takes, I take d8. If he takes d2, I take this, right? I think I'm not missing anything. I think that's just fine. But well, maybe I missed something, I'm not sure. Or rook f2. I'm not sure, maybe. But yeah, please don't say moves during the game. Because it may result in a ban. Let's go here. If c4, I get king e1. If he takes, I take b3. Yep, king e1. If rook d3, rook d3, rook b3, or cd, cd, rook b3, anyways. Yeah, b5, but some tips to go from 23 to 2700. Ooh, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, are you good at tactics or no? What's your best. Uh, best uh, thing do you like i use the best like a tactics or like middle games or end games it's important to know to give you tips here yeah, a bit too just give one point okay i mean yeah uh, through but yeah let, let me know what's your best thing uh, what is your best strengths is uh let's go here rook d7 thanks for following just in fun i'll take take and get rook d7 rook f7 thanks for the follow aritra hold on g4 is threatening mate in one he has to go g5 then get rook d6 like a five or something or or wait 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 does this is this uh... Alright, whatever. I think I'm just gonna get this pawn. I thought like H4, maybe there's some maintenance, but I don't know. I had it there. I think the approach is working on the weakness. That's, yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's why I wanna tell you like what's the best part. If, if your best part is like openings, then do end games. Like, yeah, what's your best and worst part? Good point. King G6? Maybe? No, King here. Oh god, time. Totally missed a reply of his. Totally missed uh, rook d1 as his threat. I still have four pawns though. So I think I should be okay ish. 
I think we can totally win, but fine. King G3. Yeah. Yeah, that's still winning. Rajim Abderrahim too. Yeah, so that was like a decent game. I'm pretty sure I maybe messed up in the end game, but still ended up winning. M1600, nice. So good enough. What's your like best and worst thing? Playing Princess Rasta. Ninety six. Okay. C four. Hmm. Yeah. Wait. Okay. So I played perfectly. H four was a blunder. Oh, rook C four. This is nasty. And then takes takes King D two, Bishop B two, and he's winning this. Yeah, that's nasty. But that's why I said I didn't really blunder. Okay. That was the only blunder. Wow, crazy. Very, very nice idea. Look, C4 was evil, exactly. And the thing is, is that he's even winning the bishop endgame where he has one pawn versus four. It's just crazy. Yeah, so pretty much no human being, I think. We'll find out. Unfortunately, he didn't. Um, I'll suck a pawn for content. I'm not sure if it's a good sack. Or maybe he'll take the bluff. Rotation 13. He took. Wow. He isn't scared. Uh oh. We worse it's open. Openings are super annoying. Yeah. Openings are like super annoying. But they, you need to know them. That's the problem. But openings are super annoying to learn. Especially like your first ones, when you don't know anything, and learn first like openings is like complete suffering. <sighs> so rook g three. I get lost inside the openings. Forget the rest. Same. Yeah. Exactly. It's like. You like, you repeat the openings, right? You remember them. But when it's time to play a game, please don't, don't even get me started. You like, you mess up lines. You, you just mess up everything. You know Blackburn Gambit? I heard it. Yeah, I'm not I forget. I, I mean, I know it. I'm not super exactly sure how it's played, but I, of course I heard of it. I don't know. I'll, I'll go for something funny. Hi, is her town? I'm not sure if he'll take the bluff again. We'll see. It's like so annoying. And especially when the two openings are similar, and the positions are similar, and you think that's the best move, but it's the best move in the other opening. Did it she? Yeah. Yeah, I, I mean, it's. I remember. Yeah, he didn't take with e pawn. It's something very nice planned. Um, it's. Yeah. Definitely. I, I mean, I definitely heard of Blackburn. I just don't remember how it is played. Well, I'm just going for something weird. Just. Let's see the other day. Okay, nice. Yeah, but this guy is defending pretty well, to be honest. Actually, extremely well. Didn't he took the pawn? I thought he would be afraid there would be a bluff and just let me castle, but he took it. And then, if e d, I think I was winning by force. I go rook b one, rook g one, and if b four, I sack the rook, and then queen f five, unstoppable mate. What he took with the bishop? Now let's see how will they defend the rest. If there will be something to defend, from. <laughs> I'll try. Definitely helps that he gets somewhat long time. Will definitely help. F yes, e5. I think that was the best reply. Rook h4. I mean, maybe. Maybe somewhere, somehow, in some universe he will fall for that. Hold on, doesn't e4 work? 
The threat is e5, of course. And if the queen moves queen h6, I just gotta put pressure on his clock, I think. Because I have like minutes and 10 seconds, he has 15 seconds. Uh, but e5, that's game over. No queen h6, how you stopping that? I don't see a way. And on the princess Rasta. Yeah, I mean, of course, it wasn't the best game, but I didn't try to play the best way. I just tried to play it very creatively. And it didn't really work, but then he, because of time trouble, he just blundered. In a 4 of h3, maybe a line of 8. Maybe. Yeah, that's the Prince Rasta. Okay. Why did you. Okay, he wanted to resign. <laughs> You offer your draw was like, why did you offer your draw? He's one move away from being mated. And you offer your draw, but okay, he wanted to resign. Blends Abderrahim too. Ah, that's this guy who was top one. Now oh, he's top two. Okay. Let's go e6. I really want to get b5. Let's get b5. I don't care if it's good or not. I just hate playing Benoni without b5, to be honest. It's like when you have no space, you cannot move, uh, and all that stuff. Now when I got b5, wait, and you just blinded a piece. That's why you play Benoni with b5 early on, you know? That is why, guys. Another name of Derahim too. <laughs> yes, yeah, so the previous game was up and down. Bishop b2, I was winning, I, I just had to go bishop b1. Right, but yeah, I was somewhat focusing on flagging. Um, but okay, the pawn uh, sack was was actually the best. Was actually one of the best moves by Stockfish. Then you go bishop c2, like queen d3 or something. Okay. Uh, but yeah, this was a funny bluff. And then Martin loser skin. Take. Fall for that. Let's see, really, castle. Oh, yeah, he did. The big, uh, the, no, wait, the Greek gift, not the big Greek. Uh, sorry. Um, but the Greek gift. Uh, and yeah, he gets f5, but I get queen f4, he takes f, and I'm a pawn up. And he c6, he says we can so. Nice. The big Greek gift, yeah. And an exchange as well. Thank you. Let's forget this Greek trick. Yeah, it's annoying. And sometimes it's annoying, especially in Blitz games, because sometimes it doesn't work, right? Uh, sometimes it doesn't work, so you don't even have to worry about it. But sometimes it works, and you like in blitz, you spend time thinking if it's a time where it doesn't work, or it, it does it work here, you know? That is a little bit annoying. Because you spend a lot of valuable time in a three minute blitz game uh, trying to figure out if it's uh, working or not. Yeah, let's just push the pawn to h6. Or, okay, h7 would be a dream, but h6 is fine as well. Um, and then just trade the rooks, most likely. Mm, hold on, let me think real quick. Exactly, yeah. I think I'll play king e2 now, just to not give him any 92 chances or anything. Hmm. Okay, it is completely win. I just have to find the best and the quickest and the easiest win. Mm, what if I go there, 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 there? That's the, oh, hold on this. Please don't play b5. If you take it, have rook b1. Now, how do I win this? Um, hmm. Good question. <laughs> oh, look at this, rook g7. Look at this, and I play h7. 
Oh, and he has to take, and this and my rookie is not playing, and I'll grab this one. Oh, that is so nice. It's a very nice thing. Let's just go king d2. Love it. Yeah, because otherwise it would be like a little bit troublesome to win. Uh, but now it's just totally winning. Brilliancy. I'm not sure if it's a brilliancy, but it's very aesthetic. Aesthetic, at least. In my opinion. Yep. Oops, I almost blundered my rook. That wouldn't be a brilliancy. I'm wondering Martin Luther's king. I've never played this guy actually before. But it's okay, cool. Nice. It's a pretty decent game. It's pretty nice content. Is it gonna be time now or what? I guess so. Okay guys, if you have any questions, ask them now. I think this guy is just going to waste time. I don't understand why people do this. Like, he can make one, two, so one, two, three, he will, he could get mated in four moves. Tilted openings, yeah. That's the time, yeah, that's weird from the openings to do that. Uh, wait, let me take a guess. He will resign like when he has half a second left or something. Let's see. Ah, but time wasters are annoying. Let's see. Will he resign when he has half a second? Okay, something somewhat similar. It was similar. Yeah, he couldn't make four moves. He had to waste a minute. And uh, then you see Martin Luther skin. <coughs> okay. Oh well. It happens. But actually, a5 was the best move, I think, wasn't it? Because otherwise, if not a5, this pawn would fall. Because, yeah. So, a5 and a very nice rook g7. Thanks for one minute of relax. It's true, though. Lens with 1282. I think g5 works. Still get bishop g3, bishop h4 there. Yeah, play for vanilla. Yeah, I, I pre move like the opening. I really wanted him to fall for the Greek gift. I need it. So it was worse, uh, taking a, a slight, slightly worse position for like five moves, I think, in the long term. Um, so my idea of 97 may be. I'll go f4. Is he lose time too? Exactly! But probably they, they don't want to get anywhere, you know? They just play for fun. Uh, so they, they literally don't care about the time for them. Uh, but it's just you know, that they waste time for openings. Not very sportsman. Can I decide? Whether I'll castle here or there. Hi, Oracle Mitch, what's up? Queen e6, I'll probably even castle short. Queen e7, I'll castle long. For content. Just for content. If I would play alone, I would probably. No, but actually, it's not that bad. I get g4, you know? And if he takes on g4, I get e4. And then bishop before 94. So g4, does it work? The best is drawing. Of, yeah, exactly. Exactly. No, the best is still made. Or that, yeah. That's that's like super annoying also from the opening one. Okay, if they miss the button, they want to resign and they draw, sure. Okay, I'm, I'm fine with that. And then when they instantly resign. But when they like off a draw and they desperately want you to accept the draw, that is quite funny. I think g takes f works. Does it? Oh, I'm not sure. He gets 92. This. Oh, but then he gets rook of one. Nah. -uh. If I go. No, I'm not going for this. Sure, they missed the button. No, but some people, like today, once happened. Some uh, some guy wanted to resign. He offered to draw when he had like half a second. 
uh, he missed the buttons and then after he drove, he immediately resigned. So it is the best content, exactly. So I'm you when you're dead lost. Yeah, it actually happened today once. I was like dead lost. I had like 9 seconds, 40 seconds. I had a pawn, he had a bishop and a pawn. It was the right corner for him. And uh, he still made it. It's very satisfying at least. Like when you, when you are about to, okay, well, let's forget this game and keep on going. And then, and then he still meets you and you're like, oh my God, what just happened? And you, you, you're completely happy. And yeah. I guess I'll go queen if I had to kill the pawn. I know a pawn down. So I kinda want you back, you know. It's better to win exactly. Sometimes yeah. Depends though. Depends. Yeah, but yeah, true. Sometimes when you play a win without like giving your opponent a chance, or when you swindle and you're dead lost and then you win, it's also very satisfying. So it depends on the thing. It's different, but yeah, it's one of the best very feelings in the world. Yeah, this opening is pretty slow, so maybe I'm not better on position, but I have like uh, like four times his time or something. So I'm just gonna play for the clock. Let's play queen b6 prevent and queen b4. I'll probably try queen f7. This is my guess. No, if not, then I'll play a5, a6. I'll take c6, and I'll probably take d5. Yep. King b1. Takes. Takes. A check. Takes. Yes, no checks. And everything beats 1282. I think this just wins queen d3, king a1. No checks, anyone. Yeah, maybe position wasn't winning, but whatever. I win on time. It's important to get a win. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I was probably better. I was maybe even better. Yeah, I had queen of two. But I just decided to play it safe, so you won't have any even lucky preparations. Playing it's rough, I have a 3 1 2. Yeah, so I was better here. King g7. I was slightly better from the opening because computer hates the Dutch or, or the the stone wall, it somewhat hates it. Then I was better than I didn't really get to find the advantage. I was better at bishop a6, I missed that. Uh, and then I was better and then yeah, queen of two, so quite a decent game, I'd say. Sorry, but mainly German has a bad feel right now. Your window handle is not in the right position, really? Oh, okay. Okay. Why isn't it in the right position? Should it be to the left side or what? Oh, what do you mean? What? Wow. What's wrong with it? <laughs> Let's go push up h3. I mean, if he, if he lets... Oh, maybe he mostly maybe played... I want to play h3. I don't know. Should it be to the left or is it or what? Should it be turned down? I'm not sure. Castle. So you're going to hear about window handles. <laughs> it's in the fully open position. It's not fully open position. No, I don't think it's in fully open. It is. It is in like. Half, it's like not even half open. It's like slight open. Fully open, it would be like this, right? Like that. But it's like this, so like some air gets through, but it's not like fully open. So it's it, it's not. It's just it's it's not fully open. Fully open has to be like but it's like a little edge. It's like a little uh, a little you know. So it's not fully open, but it's some fresh. It's thirty nine percent. Yeah, exactly. Karma, great, 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 great geometry skills. <laughs> It's, no, I think it's 39.3% open, isn't it? Wait, that's just queen g4? This hangs and this hangs, no? Yeah, that's game over. He had bishop d1, though, but okay. Karma challenge. Anyone dream Rafa David c1 too? Karma challenge is in a German as well. <laughs> so 420 would be great, yeah. 420 degrees would be very good.
Okay, that was a nice game, I think. I, yeah, I mean, I think he mostly with G3. I think he went to play G3. I played nil nil nil. Oops. Prince Master El Coneo Peludo. Sounds Spanish slash Mexican. Yeah, Colombian. Somewhat similar, I guess. At least, like, from the language and stuff. Of course, don't mean that humans are similar, of course, but like the language and stuff are similar. Karma! One bit, thank you so much, Karma! Appreciate the one bit, Karma. Thank you. You want to see the pineapple, Karma? You want to see the happy, happy pineapple, or what? <laughs> you miss the happy pineapple? Here? Ah, okay. Yeah, I'm not pro in Spanish. Cheer one bit and I press it. <laughs> okay. Twitch, Twitch, uh, Twitch. Twitch is very good at uh, taking viewers bits, I guess. <laughs> no, I guess it's it's July. It's a new month. So there is nobody on the leaderboard. So it's like, donate one to be on the leaderboard, I guess. Yeah, man, you know. Yeah, yeah exactly. Twitch is very good from taking viewers bits, actually. <laughs> There's a whole button dedicated to cheer one. <laughs> My hand was itching, I needed to try. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Twitch is very, very good from from getting the bits. And Pookie one bit, thank you so much. Two, number two hype, yeah, thank you, Pookie. Are we gonna have the great battle of one bit? <laughs> As we had with Karma and Morgan on April Fools. Oh, it was three months ago. Goodness me, it feels like it was yesterday. Wow. Um, but yeah, it was funny there. Where, where, where I was like, oh, let's end the stream and, and Karma one bit. And then, oh, okay, okay, okay. Time, time to end the stream and Lorgan one bit. This button is sneaky. Yeah. Now we are creating a hype train from three bits. Oh, yeah! Somebody press, press the... Press the uh, cheer one button and we'll have a hype train. Guys, it would be funny. It's the cheapest hype train in history. <laughs> Imagine, that would be so funny. We didn't get the message though. We didn't get the notification about the hype train is near. But it would be funny. Rook C8. Yeah, my hand is itching to check him, and then go queen e2. And if rook e6, just take. Look here. This button is sneaky. Yeah, if karma couldn't hold, then yeah, it's very sneaky. No, but Twitch is very good, right? Now now I don't have the uh, cheer one button. <laughs> I just have cheer the way to the top. Quite understandable, I guess, because maybe on the channel or but I'm sure. <laughs> no, but yeah, it's cool. I mean, if somebody wants to be on top one and they d didn't notice it, it's very nice that Twitch reminds you that. <laughs> I guess. Not sure, though. Okay, everyone. How is everyone doing? Is everybody happy about the weekend or no? I'm not sure if anyone not happy about the weekend, but hopefully everyone is happy about the weekend. About the weekend, because I'm not sure how can you not be happy about the weekend, to be honest. Whoa. 95? If Queen G5, I go to G3, I think. All things are basically the same, but Fuki, you want more bit. Thank you so much. My car, my first place is mine. <laughs> thank you, Fuki. Thank you. But I'm scared that you awaken somebody. I think I think the first place won't be yours for too long. To be completely honest, 
I think it's very bad to joke with Karmar. There's no button anymore! Uh oh! <laughs> okay. Then maybe maybe you'll pa you'll survive Pookie. Oh wait, my pawn hangs. Maybe Pookie is a beast will sleep for a bit more. Maybe you get lucky this time. Gotta hurry up. Oh gosh. Three is a terrible move from a human perspective. Oh gosh. Morgan 10 bits, thank you so much. Wait, thank you for a uh, bishop and actually a second bishop. Hey yo! Morgan, thank you so much for 10 bits. Appreciate the support, guys. Wait, but we didn't get the hype chain. Twitch is a scam. It just scams viewers of their bits. Is it, doesn't it? Sacrifice the rook! Oh, and he sacrificed the rook back. The game will connect your peludo. When I need more bits, I'm here to fight, okay? <laughs> sit in my seat, yeah. The donations are too low for the train, okay? Alright, you guys, I'm gonna be right back in a second. Got to refuel the water bottle. You guys watch, I don't know, some game. I'll uh, send you. Come on, 12 bits. What is this button here? <laughs> Thank you. Uh, so, you guys, uh, watch the game between, I don't know, Dr. Agnefstein, sounds similar to Magnus, maybe it's, no, it's from Austria, it's uh, for my darling. Be right back, guys, uh, see you in a second. Hello everybody, I'm back. And Pookie with 12 more bits. Wow! First play, thank you Pookie. This is us the schnitters. <laughs> the fight begins. The triple five for first place. That's gonna be spicy to watch. <laughs> everybody grab your popcorn as Magnus first does and enjoy. <laughs> Who'll be in first for? Who'll be first at the end of the stream? It'll be exciting to see. <laughs> it's 
So right now Pookie is in first card, my second Lorgan is third. Spicy. Let's go E5. I don't know, just to get my net to B4 to be honest. That's not not more. Yeah. Okay, queen c1. Now, Pookie, there is only two ways to use this answer, actually, three with Karmar. Well, actually, there are three of us in three places. <laughs> we can five bits. Thank you, Lorgan. Thank you. And now everybody is one bit away from each other, uh, except Pookie, uh, Lorgan, and uh, Karmar. So it's gonna be very spicy. Thanks, Lorgan, for the support, by the way. <laughs> Karma is trying to find a new button, I think. <laughs> you send one bit with a send one bit button, then he sent <laughs> 12 with a cheer 12 button. Now he has to uh, find some other button, I guess. Entertaining and very exciting to watch. Not gonna lie. I'll take the zikini if he'll take, or he'll just go queen d2 and be scared. No, he takes, okay. Good thing you see the zenf like f4 or f3. Did I? Am I in Zugzwang? <laughs> or what? No, it can be in Zugzwang. It's not that bad. Knight d3, bishop d7, king e5 should be alive. Do I go g5, knight e4? No, I'm not sure. I think I'll just go knight d3. Keep it safe. Keep it safe. Yeah, it's very safe. Oh no, my pawn! Oh no! Okay. Maybe I actually should have a knight c5. Huh. <laughs> Interesting. The ultimate no risk position turns into a nightmare. I'm just lost. Bishop of five. Yeah, I played way too aggressively. I have to be more more careful. I just really tried to push for a win. Yeah, I just should have went this this move I really wanted, which I thought was risky, uh, but which wasn't at all. Now my knight is stuck. Thanks for the following GST and the fun. Luis Horacio, thank you. Coracchio, I'm not sure, sorry. I don't think you can it is. Yeah, that was a good game from him. I mean, I was fine, I just should have went... I shouldn't have, have went that aggressive. I should have just went king of six. Just, just, just alive, you know. Knight e4, just play king e7. Never ever risk. This was already risky. Uh, maybe I should have went, I don't know, knight, knight c5. Was it good? Let's see if I'm already worse. 
So knight d3 was a mistake. Yeah, I had to go for g5. I wasn't too sure about... I don't know what I even wasn't sure about. I just I just tried to push for a win, to be honest. Then it's Miguel GTGT. Very well deserved up by my opponent. Congrats to him. Don't play d6. Because I pre-moved knight bd5. I'm scared that he'll go d6. Okay, he didn't. <coughs> Still, better to be careful. Yeah, it was that draw. It just was too aggressive. Let's be honest. I, I, I thought with this knight I can never lose. Well, I was wrong. It's quite wrong, but okay. Knight b6. Takes and takes. Free pawn is always good, guys. Free pawn is very good. Yeah. Takes. Yeah, he took, he took with the bishop. It's like the move I completely missed, to be completely honest. <laughs> Quite a unusual move to retreat your minor piece like that. Calculating both captures, but I'm pretty sure I'm fine here as well. Uh, e5, I think I'm actually... Wait, e5, you get bishop a6. Very nice trick, guys. If I take e5, he gets bishop a6, rook b8, rook e5, and rook b1, bishop here, bishop 1, rook e4, rook c5, he's winning. So I think I'm just going to take a3, because rook a1, I get c2, and then, I don't know, just bishop e6 or something. Oh, and I have a trick in my mind. If rook e7, I go knight d4, attacking the bishop. And if he doesn't go to d3, you get knight f5, but taking the rook and the bishop. So we'll see if he'll find bishop d3. Let's hope that he won't, but we'll see. Probably he will, though. No, he didn't. Wait a sec, but now rook a8 even, no? This hangs. And knight f5 is a threat as well. Threatening this and that. Ooh, I think that's a blunder from him. Okay, but now I have knight f5. Yeah, I couldn't take the bishop because rook e8 mate on back rank. But this, and I think I just win a whole rook even. I thought a whole piece, but a whole rook is much better. Andre Miguel GT GT. Good game. GG. I was quite quite nice. Oops. That was pretty fine. Yeah, Schnitz played well. I played this game quite well. Plains M233 TC. Oi. Okay, takes. GG, thank you. Thanks, my spurs. Just quick update. I think so far Lorgan is first, right? Yeah, then Puki and then Karmar. Still very, very tight. One point gap between all three places. It is, it's It's. definitely not done yet, I'm pretty sure. So anything can change at any second, at any moment. Yeah, I had queen d4, really nice as well. Mm, so don't go anywhere, guys. If you're here for this excitement, a bit battle. If you're here for chess, also don't go anywhere. It's going to be a very exciting, because the tournament is nearing its end. So it's some spiciness, I think, is going to... Uh, yeah, it's some spiciness will appear. I think I'm gonna take F take C. I think that is fine, to be honest. Queen B5. Ah, uh, does this hang? Not sure I think it does, doesn't it? F3? I don't know, it's scary, but I think it's so far it's a free pawn. Anything's for a while, so I'm, I'm, I'm happy with it. Mm -hmm. 
And the thing is, if this, okay, yeah, I was just talking about rook f3, g of queen e6, I don't know what was the point, even by had a nice move e4, d takes c, queen e4. If queen trade, I'm winning, if you move the queen, I take e8, and then rook c8, I'm winning anyways. Every bit counts, yeah, exactly, exactly. Every single bit counts. I think I'm actually going to be quite scared. I'm somewhat, I don't know, maybe I should just play queen c6. Uh, I'm, I'm debating whether I should be like super duper safe. Or should I go like queen a7 maybe even perhaps being super greedy? I'm just not super sure. Super duper sure. Or I should be like Chris can play rook c7. This looks awful. Um, but I don't know. I think I'm just gonna play rook f1 and see what he does to be honest. Because like now he doesn't have rook f3, otherwise I can always bring my queen back. If queen e4, I get queen b1, so I think it's fine. Yeah, we'll see. This. I think I'm just gonna bring my queen back. Just, 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 just playing no risk pretty much, just chilling. 95 now. If he takes, I take, a 95 I take, and he cannot take because I have queen of 8 mate. Uh, and otherwise I just simplify very much and I'll just put pressure on position because I still will have this extra pawn. And also on time because I have like half a minute extra. So I'm very happy with how the game is going so far. Yeah, he took. He took again. And I have like two times more time pretty much. Alright, that's a nice move. Attacking this pawn. Very nice idea. Uh, and if queen of four gets queen b1. Very nice. Karma! Three bits! Okay, so now the changes, the standings changed. Karma found the button. Now he's first with 16, then Lorgan with second with 15, and Puki uh, third with 14. You see? Everything can change in a matter of seconds, everyone. Thank you, Karma, for the three bits. Appreciate it. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna repeat once. Maybe he'll fall for a trap. No, he didn't. Uh, okay. I'll play h3. Snubble under my rook, play rook d3. My time advantage unfortunately vanished because I thought very much, uh, a lot, about how to win this and I didn't really find the best way, but it's still fine. Well, this guy has been like rock solid, wow. Um, let's go here and rook d2 if rook g5. Whoa. Let's go queen c2. Mm. Spicy. I think I'll go queen d2 and then rook d4 is a threat somewhat. There are some possibilities of clean flags this game. Check. Most likely the game will end in a flag. Oh, this is a really nice thing. At least we need pawn, so now I'll be the one putting pressure. Because before he was the one putting pressure, because he had like very active pieces uh, straight in my weaknesses. And I can just simplify. Not the MM 233 TC. GG. Yeah, it wasn't too smooth, but it's fine. It's pretty fine. Hi Peter, long time no see. Yeah, I'm somewhat happy with the game. I mean, I, I don't think I had like ridiculous advantages either. I think, I mean, maybe at like maximum, I don't know, plus two maximum somewhere here. I think I played like all over safe. I probably could have played more aggressive, a little easier, but yeah, it's fine. Okay, yeah, here at the end I maybe mess up a little, but it's fine. Uh, and playing the reverse flash. Oh, that's the guy who I drew, who stalemated me. And he's a London guy. Interesting. Is he from Indo England? Nope, he's from Mexico. Do they many, like, Mexican, Colombian and Spanish guys at school? Quite unusual, but nice. I'm doing good. What about you? Yeah. 
Yeah, but if only one. Fine. I think I have to suck the phone. Important than I did six, I protect of seven. I'm good, that's nice. Here. He gets this. I think I'll have to trade wins because otherwise he'll get another pawn. And two pawns. I mean, one pawn is too much already, but two pawns would be like too, too much, you know? This can be still holdable. Most likely is with perfect play. So let's try to hold it. Maybe even win if you blunder. Just now I get like h4 f g4 I get, yeah, that's a nice move from him. Ah, uh, he provoked me with f5, I don't know. My hands were itching to play it. But I think it's fine after h4 anyways. It shouldn't be too, too bad. And then I get f4. And if g, f rook, knight f4, I win in exchange because of a fork. If g4, I get something like knight h4 perhaps yeah this i thought i'd go king g8 i think it's important to try to keep uh, some pressure on the clock as well now i think okay that hmm, interesting not a move i even calculate to be honest um if i just take to take i think i'll take and d3 i'm not sure about this did I just blunder a pawn? I think I did. Yeah, that's, that's not too nice, but okay. Or is he doing it? Is he going for a draw? Yeah, okay. You know the dreams reverse flash? Okay. I, I mean, I think I had to take the draw. I don't know. I, I didn't see a way how I could push for a win, to be completely honest. I mean, I was a pawn down. Uh, so, like, to push for a win, I had to go just, like some completely insane moves. Maybe F4 was a better move instead of H4, I don't know. No, yeah, I was worse for like whole game. Uh, but then fortunately he managed to a draw. Of course, not too happy about a draw, but I had to. <laughs> I had to. Then it's key M E T B. Sometimes you have to do it, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I was like forced for whole game, maybe I had a chance. Oh, Rudy one queen between me, it's not completely. Um, yeah, but aside from that, and then at the end, I didn't really have a chance or anything. I'm not gonna play title three nights, it ends too late. I'm not gonna play it. It's way too late for me. A new game. Oh, you're not playing Sonics anymore. Did you get bored of it or did you complete it? I think I'm just gonna take and play queen c8, and I don't know, just get like 
uh, I don't want. I think I just want to get some air for my kin. I really wanted queen d7, but there he would get like yeah, something like that, you know, which is with some annoying chances. I think I'm gonna play queen to um, e8 now, attacking this pawn, because f pawn is quite important. And if he gets f6, then I'll get queen d7. So at the same time, I attack this, I attack that, and I attack this, and then maybe even I attack that. Uh, queen d7. Or oh, maybe queen of seven was better. I'm not too sure. So wait, but that's a free pawn, no? Yeah, I mean, okay, free pawn. Queen of seven maybe was better, so I have bishop e5 threat in mind. So only my first Sega game, by the way, came with the console. Nice, nice, and nice. Taking a break, boss battle is hard. Okay. Yeah, I think I'm I'm too young for Sonic. I don't know. Never got too excited about it, to be honest. So I never really tried. I mean, I never actually tried it. I think maybe, of course, I know him, but. <clears throat> I'm not super interested about any of this funny stuff. Oh, why did he not go G8? I'm not sure. I'll uh, just check him. Um, boom, boom, boom. So King H2. Yeah, taking breaks is important. So you don't get burnt out. Now I think I'll go Bishop E5, Queen E5. Yeah. I'm not sure. I'm, I'm happy with current times for gaming, to be honest. And then KM ETB. I'm not sure. But yeah, of course, probably I did. Uh, but I like the games I'm playing right now, to be honest, as well. Okay, this Ultras guy is like insane. Wow, he gets. I'm the only one who drew him so far. Plains Jolly. Jolly J and B. I'm gonna go Scandi. You're playing games? What do you mean, Karmar? Metroid Primary Master. No, I never heard of this game, to be honest, but nice. Lost the magic. The game's lost the magic or what? What do you mean? Who cool, lost the magic? Yeah, maybe true. Maybe true because not like the gaming is like you take it for granted, right? Or something. And there was like super exciting. No? I think this works now. E5, I think it's fine. But yeah, I'm not a huge fan of like some shooter games yet, or I won't be a fan of them at all. Like, I prefer more casual games, to be honest. I don't know, I get like too stressed while PvP or something. I'm not a big fan of PvP at all. Wait a sec, it just landed. Yeah. I was saying lolly J and B. Like, probably why I like more casual, casual or casual games, whatever how you call it. Casual games, right? And all games had some new magic, new ones are too fancy. Yeah, maybe I'm not sure. When playing Sultra 13. Oh, so he pressed pause, he waited for me. Cool. Because, like, I'm not, I'm not like a fan of some super competitive games, cause probably to become good at them, you need to spend like about 5k hours or something, right? Uh, and um, I already have chess to become good at. So getting another game which is which I need to play like 5-6 hours a day non-stop is just not worth it. So like more casual, casual games which like you just, you, you, like, the playtime doesn't matter. Sure, you get better with time and that stuff, but, like, it it doesn't, like, because there, there are some games which I still play when there are, where I get, like, opens who are completely cracked, but they probably spend, like, 3k hours or something, and they just don't have the time to to do that. Chess training is better spending spend of time. Yeah, yeah exactly.
Because sometimes, for example, I play Rocket League or something, and then when like people are flying in the air and you're just like sitting there and like, oh my God, what's going on? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that's probably no, not probably. It's just a matter of practice, you know. But but yeah, it requires a ton, a ton of practice, like chess does. So I prefer more casual games. I somewhat love Clash Royale, to be honest. It is like very chill, where if you have like few extra minutes, you can you can just play a game match or two, right? But, 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 the level fifteen update. Ah, let, let me not talk about that. Okay, that's that's just terrible. Clash Royale was already paid to win, but with level fifteen updates, oh my goodness, it is like super duper pay to win. Of course, most games are, but this is just like, like for you to get max before, it, it took you a certain amount of time, and now for you to max it fully, you need to uh, get uh, spend two times as much money as you did already before. So that is like crazy in my opinion. Like, as I'm uh, free to play, it's like impossible to progress. It's still possible to maybe get seventy five k, seventy five hundred trophies, but like. Mm, it, it's not fun when you get some over-leveled opponents who, who probably just don't even have skill of, co of course some do but like some are just like over-leveled and uh, their cards just crush your yours without like any skill pretty much so that's why I, I, I somewhat quit Clash Royale I mean I, I, I'm, I'm usually playing it like in some breaks, right? I don't know. I, I'm like super interested in it. And then like all out of a sudden I take like a year break or something. And then like all out of a sudden I again get get completely interested in it. And then I completely I can somewhat can't stop playing it. So it's it's a an it's an interesting game, to be honest, but but yeah. And pretty much like, like this level fifteen update didn't add like anything new or anything. It just at the max level you will get the same interactions as before, right? Nothing has changed, like absolutely nothing. You like don't get anything, just cosmetic, and you have to spend like two times money or two times the time. So it's just completely crazy. And many people quit because of that, so they somewhat ruin their own, uh, their own player pool. Then I take and queen b7. I'm not sure. I think I can. Yeah, I don't know. Hold on, do I have something better than a draw? No, I don't think so. I mean, if I if I want to lose, sure. Um, I just I don't. I have to play queen b7. And he also has to force a draw, I'm pretty sure. I don't know if he has... Wait, it's not 3 fold. Oh wait, the pawn is here, so wait. Do I risk it with queen e4? It, it just doesn't seem worth it, I think, of queen e7. And there's a more press 13. I had queen e4, but I don't know, risking it for like... For a dead drawn end game, I uh, didn't seem worth it to me. Yeah, it was worse, but then he blundered as well. Yeah. Okay. Not planning to. Not planning to. And, yeah. Don't really want to. Then it's Amta zero one. And it was like so so annoying in Clash Royale. Is that like? I, I, I spent like one, one and a half years or something, one and a half years trying to max my, uh, the only deck I play, which I like, I'm in love. And then, and then when I'm done, I'm not even fully done, but when I'm like half done, there was this level 15 update. And I'm like, literally all the progress I did before, I wonder if I'm day zero one, literally all the progress I did before, gone. It is literally gone. 
because to get the same thing I did, I need to spend twice as much time. And like, what is the point? You know? It, it, it's just like, so, so like, I don't know. It's like so, so sad, to be honest. Because it was a brilliant game, I, I really loved it. And I still like it, but like, it's now not so nice. And then it's Shuvalov. Wait, how do I play for good? I think I go bishop b6, right? Not sure. Yeah, and then I think I go knight c6, yeah. Mm -hmm. He took here first. I thought he would take the bishop, uh, the knight first. What this looks like. Wasn't it last week? I saw it just once a year. Oh, once a year. Once a month. It's relatively short, but okay. Um, yeah, back to Clash Royale. <laughs> no, just kidding. Yeah, it's just like so, so disappointing because you like struggled. Uh, you struggled for a year or something, or more than uh, at least not you, but I struggled trying to get this max deck. Then I got. Uh, you felt like accomplished for some time, and then they rule this update out, and then you pretty much all your accomplishment is just now gone. So, like, it's just, like, disappointing too. You don't see what's next, because, like, making the level 15 deck, it's, like, gonna take you 20 years, and with free-to-play in Flash Trial and combinable, so it's, it's very hard. So, yeah, that's why I probably will quit it. I'm not sure if forever I still will probably play it a bit, but... But definitely not gonna play it as much as I did like a, two weeks ago or something. But it's definitely a cool game, guys. If you want some strategical stuff, it is you definitely should check it out because at least like in early game, the the level fifteen shouldn't hurt you, you know. Uh, sure, you'll get over leveled opponents, but it was always like this. So if you want some cool game to spend a few extra minutes. Oh, so this only for this once. Okay, doesn't matter. Okay, okay, yeah. Because okay, yeah, because I, I I like read about it, and it was like only at the end of the month. <laughs> so it's funny. But I don't know why they actually did it at uh, the same time, the same day as um, Lichas titled Arena, right? They they steal players from each other, don't they? I mean, Lichas already planned this like ages ago, and here just for this week. They just try to steal Lich's players, it feels like. Oh no! My rook! Guys, I blundered! My rook! That's just so... I wanted to play rook d8. I just completely, completely uh, for messed up the rooks. Wow, that is crazy. Just come on them all, yeah. Okay, I didn't blunder the rook, it's me, one. <coughs> I, I didn't blunder the rook. It is on all my peace trap. Uh, yeah, that's a nice move actually from him. It is like weird because many people want to play and bullet brawl most likely and entitled uh, arena, right? And they pretty much like, of course there will be some hardcore uh, players who who will, but many players will just like, they'll just be tired after two hours of constant one zero bullet 
to then play like three hours of uh, constant 3-0 blitz. So I'm not sure if it was the smartest decision from Chesscom to to do, especially just this one day. They could have done it next week when there is no title arena on Lichia, so players could play there, but I don't know. It's Chesscom, so... So I'm not surprised. Oh wait, that's a blunder. Let's protect the pawn at least. Queen c4, I check him. I take. And if he takes, I get rook c7. Yeah, and takes bishop d6 and queen of one. And then I'm Shuvalov. Nice. Yeah, I, I mean, I was worse, but then then a nice, nice, nice time. Uh, then I was also low on time, but then he, it was very nice that he blundered, and he also saw for a while, and then I just simply won. Of course, it wasn't that simple as I said, in three words, but it, it was a nice game. GG, thank you. All right. Lens Vlachov Hrovik Ro. But uh, by the way, guys, I have a question. D does anyone here also like likes playing Clash Royale or something? I don't know. Or is it just me? Or has anybody at least like played it or like likes, well, not likes, but like played it or knows what it is? No, okay. I didn't play it, all right. I played sometime, I think, okay. Yeah, but it's very interesting, so I, to be honest, personally, I recommend you guys check it out. At least, not, not play, but like just check it out what it is. It is very interesting and exciting. So, maybe you'll even like it. Because it's like quite interesting. Okay, he cannot take. Yes. I will on it. I'm not sure about rookie C gets his bishop C5, but it should be okay. Oh, my queen! I almost love my queen! Oh, what about queen? I almost bought his gambit. I want to play rook G3. <laughs> I just. Here I, I almost messed up. Look where that game got me. <laughs> Give my opinion. All right, man, just first. No, but chill. Clash Royale is more chill. It's more chill. It's more chill sometimes. Uh, uh, yeah. I, to be honest, I recommend it playing on PC. No, I, it's, just, it's a joke. But I recommend you playing it on PC uh, because sometimes uh, your phone may break. <clears throat> <clears throat> The game is such stressful at all. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it, sometimes it's, it, it can be super frustrating. Whoa, oh, Anis Gifter gifted a dear ones after Paul Masolini. Thank you, Anis Gifter. You, you, you guys, please don't take it too serious, okay? Um, it can be super frustrating at times, as chess. Lorgan is somewhat correct. Um, but it's definitely much more chill than chess, in my opinion. Thanks for the following. Just stay here, and fun. Ren, Ren Beck and Bawar. Thank you. Just stay here and have lots of fun on the channel. Risk it? No, I think I shouldn't really risk it. Somewhat an important, it's kind of an important game, so I think playing safe is good. Should 
Sure, maybe like bishop d2 is a good idea. But like playing something super risky with some sacrifice, I don't think it's just worth it at this stage of the tournament. I think I'll bring my rook back. <coughs> <coughs> you foresee draw? Nah, I think I'll pass. I'm slightly worse, but I'll pass. Oh, there should be one. I, I need to win this game because Schnitters is can catch me simply, so I have to end. Yeah. Did Schnitters win? Did he get 56? No, Schnitters lose. It's fine, I'll play. If I lose, I lose, but hopefully I won't. I mean, if he'll get like a draw, and this guy can also maybe catch me. Though it's super, super unlikely. It is still possible. So I, I better at least try, you know? Like, don't go some, somewhere super risky. I'll just like keep trying, maybe I'll blunder some point or another. Mm -hmm. Let's see a way how I can break through finally enough. So, okay, at least now the g2 pawn is... Oh gosh, it just has... It just has a uh, reply to anything, pretty much. Oh, he won a bishop! That's what I'm talking about! That's what I was hoping for. Yeah, I'll, I'll click post. Let's go. That was a huge win. It's a very huge win. Nice. So, uh, thank you all for the games. Quite a decent tournament. Sure, the last one was very much, much smoother. I had like nil nil every single game. But uh, I, I just drew four games and lost one. So, very, very good game. A uh, tournament, in my opinion. So, uh, performance 27 30, games played 24, win rate 79. Zero credit cost 0, and rating 23 54. Hold on. Huh? Wait, I drew five? No, I drew four. Karma turned 50 bits. Thank you so much. So now Karma is in a giant lead. Wow. Thank you so much, Karma, for turning 50 bits. Thanks. Pay uh, near seven one three four. Six is a great number to stop. Yeah. It is. So first ultra thirteen. Uh, no, I, I'll. I'll do, let's. To solo. Uh, 24 blitzing is played, plus 390 wins, 4 draws and 1 loss. Yeah. Let's analyze the draws. 1, 2, 3, uh, 4. Oh, so 2 draws were 2 draws against. Uh, 2 draws I drew against the reverse flash, and 2 draws I drew against the ultras. Uh, I'm the only one who stopped him. Uh, no, uh, it's too late for me. And Yeah, so Ultras, yeah, I think I'm the only one who... Yeah, and Lorgan, great tournament 2052 bits, oh yeah, oh, yeah, thank you so much, Lorgan. Appreciate the support, guys. Uh, so let's against Ultras. Uh, it was 3-0-1 uh, for him and 4-0-1 for me. Yes, yeah, so it was Cosio. Here, I have to go T5, okay. This is easy, it was fine. Uh, I got slightly worse position, here I had to go for bishop d4, then take bishop d5, and then it would be drawn position, it would be fine. Wow, that's some nasty stuff. Lorgan winning, yeah, so far, yeah. This queen a1, mm, he would take, 
and I would have an exposed senior would be slightly better for him. Here at queen d5, and if I go bishop c3, ah, he gets knight d6, right, I completely missed that, and he did as well, and he would be much winning, much better position, he would be likely winning, but this is, we traded everything, we traded the rooks, we traded the pawns, and then I found the repetition. He could have tried to escape like king g2, but then I think I got knight e3, and I would have a draw no matter what. Yeah, so I'd go for bishop d4, and then bishop d5, and he'd go for queen d5. With 96, yeah. In the game against the reverse flash, thanks, man, is first. 8 1 3 for me and 6 1 2 for him. Okay, yeah, so I got much better from the open, but then I messed up somewhat. This is this is this. Uh, he tried to go for a, b, d6. Yeah, he would have no space. I'm just completely winning. I've been winning night. It's game over. He had to go for bishop d5. I once again had a, b, then d6, queen, a4, and karma turned it 50 bits once again. Did I already give today's tournament bits that show? Thank you so much, karma. Thank you. Yeah, but you did. But thanks again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that would be better. This is this. 97 was a mistake again. I had 94 a b. This I would be better. And b was a blunder. Yeah, rook up seven just simplifying. That's a draw. And here I missed a win. Yeah, Karma is in the lead again. I missed a win with 94. Then he goes bishop d6. Then I take and I just win a piece and I'm completely winning. Yeah, unfortunately I missed that. Uh, and then I was lost. Here go for I had to go for bishop before with a draw. Um, but I missed it. Then I was lost. And then he was completely winning, and he stalemated me. King of two, he had to go for king of six, and yeah, bishop of one. And if I take h two, he wins. And if king is two, king of two, he wins as well. But he played king of two, and does it is the reverse flash? That was funny. Um, yeah, so I have to go a b, knight a four, and knight a four, and bishop to f four, I think. Yeah, the thing is, if I take take here, I go bishop c six. This pawn doesn't fall, and it's equal. That was the important thing. Uh, what was it for him? Bishop d5, rook f7, king f3. Yeah. Okay, so first ultra 13, um, uh, 72 points, second me 60 points, third Firmaster Schnitters 53, uh, fourth Artemi Golev 49 points, fifth Vlachov Rove Krov 48 points, sixth Oliver, Firmaster Oliver Cromwell, he's from Germany, no? No. Uh, seven three skull forty one points eight Wednesday Adams four 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 no Wednesday four 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 Adams forty one points as well nine better seven 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 and uh, forty points and ten Shavala of forty points and also drag call Lichen two seven two forty points but lower tiebreaker later I don't know sorry uh, and then nothing against the reverse flash it was five two nil for him and four nil one four one nil for me yeah so I sacrificed the pawn Bishop C was a mistake from him he had to go for knight D six. Mm, and it would be better because here I'd go rook d1, rook d1, queen b2, and it would be just fine. This is this. Then it was better, but I think I defended pretty well. I created some counter play. Knight c5 was a mistake, I'd go for g4. He would be better still. But after knight c5, my bishop c5, this is this. I found a perpetual and he was fine with the draw and draw the game. The reverse flash. Yes, yeah, so I had to take. And that's all, and he had to go 96 and a g4. And then it's ultra 13. Yeah, I was lost. 4 1 nil for me, 1 nil 2 for him. I was worse, and then it was fine. I go for queen e2, yeah, because he got c5. Here I still had to return, and then this I would get rook a d1. e5. e5, what do I get? I get. Oh, okay, yeah, I thought it was something like this. And this, this queen e5, I would be fine. Uh, and uh, if he would take take D, that would be equal as well. Mm. I'd go for G takes F. This he won two pawns. He was much much better. Queen G seven was a blunder. He'd go for, Queen D four was a blunder. He'd go for King G seven. It would be two pawns up much better. I had to take then go Rook E six because yeah, he has to take with the bishop. Otherwise the bishop falls. I have either Bishop G six or Rook E six. Probably Bishop G six is even better. And then Rook E six and then Bishop E four. It would be just completely equal. Actually maybe the same as with that. No, but okay, yeah, I'd, I'd prefer bishop g6. And here I'd go for king g8, uh, because he blundered rook e6, now the bishop hangs, and if he moves the bishop f7 hangs, so he played rook b8, and we just repeat another game, ultra 13. So I'm the only one who drew the leader, and I drew him twice, and I never lost to him. That's quite nice. Uh, I guess it was king g8. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's fine. Mm hmm King G8 again. Yeah. Okay. And now to the last game. I lost to Finmaster Schnitters. Um 
he played Serena Lea played 4 nil 2 I played quite well I held very well with black I mean I, I wasn't worse to be honest but yeah we just traded everything but then in the end game I somewhat got a little bit too cocky I really tried to play for a win here I just had like yeah just either I come back in of six no risk or here I have g5 which better than 93 I just get g4 king e5 and I can never lose because if he takes this point I take a4 I have two passers I'm just good uh, this and then go for knight c5 still like trying you know a uh, knight a4 uh, sure you still would be better but I at least would have two passers I could try to promote and this um, yeah this and then I just went on to lose a blunder. The pawn, a blunder, second pawn, and simply he went away. The game for the master schnitters. Yeah, I just had to go g5. I want to go g5. I, I decided to play for a win, and I lost. All right, so that was a good tournament. Thanks a lot, everybody, for watching. I'll wrap things up here. Everybody, don't forget to join the Discord tonight. Me some battle stream and wild stream. Thanks a lot to uh, Pookie11 for 14 bits. Thanks for the follow, Fedor228. Long game, 249 bits. A draw, guys. Thank you so much, everybody. Thank you, thank you, Logan. Thank you, Pookie for 14 bits. Then Logan for 516 bits and Karma for 516 bits as well. But Karma is first, but it's a draw. Even though the tweet says Karma is first, it's a draw. Thanks a lot, everybody, for the support and also unused gift for gifting. 88 ones up to Paul Masolini. Thanks a lot, everybody, for watching. I really hope you had fun and uh, hope you had fun sun Saturday. I hope you guys have. Uh, nice Sunday tomorrow. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye Manusters, by Lorgan, by Bierm, Bierim M, by Karma, by Puki11, by uh, Paul Mazzolini, by Tubelerchik, by Peter, by Paul Mazzolini, by Manusters, by Puki, by Darko Twitch, by Oracle and Wit, by Queen Keeper, and everybody. Really hope you had fun evening. I hope you will have a fun Sunday tomorrow and I'll see you all tomorrow. Have a great rest of day. Take care everyone. Enjoy your Saturday evening and enjoy your Sunday tomorrow. Uh, take care everyone. Have a great rest of day and bye-bye. Thanks a lot for watching and yeah, take care.